today I'm at Brock and Holford Opticians, at present at the top of Chumagna High Street. As Nicola tells me, it's a company with a proud history. Brock and Holford was originally started by Michael Brock and his father, and before that his grandfather, so three generations of Brocks. And they were originally in Gilda Parade in Brislington, and when they decided to close Brislington practice, they came over to here. Well, we've been here now for 26 and a half years. Grandfather and father have passed away, and Mark Holford bought into the practice many years ago. This picture from 1998 is of Michael Brock, his father, and the young Mark Holford, still with a full head of hair. Good morning. Hi. Yeah. Come on in. Thank you. In their back room, Mark tests your eyes. Have a seat. Make yourself comfy. I'd like you to look at the screen straight ahead of you. Start at the top and read as many of the letters as you can. While Nicola makes sure you get the perfect pair of glasses. Tell me what are the advantages of being in True Magna and then maybe the disadvantages. We absolutely love, love being in True Magna Village. Absolutely. We love being close into the community. Uh, we love being able to help serve the community. We love the fact that we're part of a village life. We love that we can walk to the shop and the post office. Um, and we love Moira at the post office. What we really struggle with here is the parking. The road is, is increasingly more and more busy, uh, especially uh, as more businesses are opening up in and around the area, this becomes more of a, a through road. And unfortunately, we also struggle with our protected steps here. Our elderly patients can't come up and down the steps easily. So unfortunately, that's why we have to make the decision to make a move. They're moving to Westway Farm, on the edge of Bishop Sutton, near Chew Valley Lake. When this was filmed in April, it wasn't quite finished. It looks like a barn conversion, but it's not. It's a new building that is tailor-made to our specifications. We have oodles of parking. We're all on the flat, and actually outside the front entrance, we also have disabled parking bays, and I believe we're also going to have electric charging points. So it is very new, very mod cons, and very, very exciting for us. And presumably more space in the shop? Yeah, absolutely. So we're probably quadrupling the space out the front here for spectacles. Um, and Mark and I have also designed the inside, so we have two testing rooms if we need to. And we also have a pre-screening room. And I have my glazing room, so I can also do on-site glazing as well. Yeah, I, do you know what? I can't wait. I'm super, super excited. Tell me about the challenges of running their shop, the opticians, through lockdown. I mean, you've got to get quite close contact when particularly Mark. Yeah, absolutely. Mark especially. So um, lots of PPE to begin with. Obviously, in the first lockdown, we had to have, um, obviously, our aprons. We had to have visors. We had to have masks. And obviously, cleaning was absolutely vital. So we have to clean before every patient comes through the front door and then we have to clean all the equipment, whether it's used or not, after the patient leaves. Um, so yes, it was very challenging. So in a funny way, we seem to be coming out of lockdown. We hope everyone will be vaccinated. Yeah. And you'll have a brand new shop. So we're going to have a brand new shop. We will all be vaccinated. Thankfully, because obviously we also have an NHS contract, we've all, in all of our staff, including Mark and myself, we've already had our first injections. We're waiting for the second injections, which are already booked in. Although we are heading out of lockdown, we will still be in PPE, we will still be cleaning rigorously because of that close contact and the nature of what we actually do here. So it's a safe and exciting future for Nicola, Mark and their staff. It remains to be seen what will happen here once David and Sheila Walker's bustling grocer's shop. How will it continue to change with the times?